Hey, hello, welcome back. Uh, the, the next uh, little <laughs> nice feature I, I like to introduce to you from the Cinema 4D R15 is um, grass. Yes. So, uh, in, in the studio version of Cinema, uh, you're of course have uh, this hair and can use hair for grass, it's no problem. But now, uh, especially for architectural use, uh, we have. Uh, special hair thing yeah so and you ask yourself uh, what's this uh, I like to invite you to this little island with this comfortable share <laughs> by the way the share is uh, from from pixel lab is a free uh, cinema 40 model uh, I, I used for this and ta -da! Uh, back to grass uh, it's, it's very easy because um, so it's an empty scene. You select uh, the object uh, where <laughs> like a grass, and you go to the environment, and that's all. <laughs> now he is uh, on tech, um, and uh, maybe you notice uh, on, on the material manager it's uh, a special material uh, appears. So and when I now hit Rama. Grass, yeah, and uh, you can see it's it's not uh, very dense at the moment, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, there are a few parameters for this. So um, maybe uh, at first uh, a little trick when when you can see uh, the ground uh, through the grass, then why not giving uh, the object uh, a similar green uh, color, and in this case, again rendering. You uh, can uh, see through the grass too, but it's not so uh, harmful because uh, yeah, it uh, looks uh, all, all green. So the, uh, besides this nice trick, we have some possibilities uh, in this special material. So uh, at first it's density. So I go closer to the scene. So that's the uh, default density is uh, 50, 15 percent. It's not much. You can see uh, it's it's much grass, but uh, could be tighter. And uh, this value is for this. So you can choose uh, more uh, density and become more grass. Ta-da! <laughs> so, uh, depends on your project and, and uh, camera angle, you can decide uh, how much grass you... Oh, we have the tech there. You can decide how much grass you uh, like to have to... Um, yeah, because more grass uh, means more render time, of course. And so, uh, it's, it's a nice parameter to find uh, the right density for your needs. So, uh, beside uh, density, okay, I, I go back to a, a lower value uh, to speed up our things here. Beside density, you can uh, the length of the grass, of course. So, I do very long grass. grass. <laughs> and then rendering, Whee! long grass. <laughs> it's, it's, very funny. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, ah, you can choose a density texture. I, I just uh, noticed it right now. Okay, okay, interesting. Surface uh, checkboard. You can uh, take a, a own um, texture. I uh, just to test this. Uh, use this checkerboard. And now we should have uh, different. <laughs> yes, it's visible. Okay. Maybe I make this very dark. So the, I, I think the darker areas are short grass and the white areas are high grass. Yeah, no, it's better. Oh, no, no, no. So, sorry, it's, it's a density, of course, not, not the uh, length. So, okay, okay, okay. Uh, density. So, it's a great tool. You can uh, choose 
via texture uh, how how the density is uh, of the object. Nice nice thing. So uh, the, the next thing is um, blade wide. Okay, this is not the the length of the grass. This is a wide of the grass or something. I, I do a very very high value. You you can see in preview what what happens. Okay, um, yeah, it makes the thing a bit more unrealistic, but uh, you can fill more space with this. Okay, um, back to this. What's, what's, uh, okay, the, the rest is a crinkle. It's like you can see in the preview, uh, the grass uh, harms, the grass strokes, uh, I don't know the English word for this, are uh, less straight. Now they are a bit wrinkled. <laughs> Okay, nice one. And a uh, band is yeah, it's similar, but but uh, not the grass is crumbled. Uh, it's just band. Okay, and everything helps to to make uh, to to make different uh, grass sorts uh, and different blocks. Wetness. Don't know what that's meant. Ah, wetness uh, is it's more on the shading side of the glass. Um, uh, it's different look. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you can use um, okay. This this gradient is for for the color of the grass. Yeah. It's, this is the base and this is the tip of the grass. And but you can use of course um, again on texture. I take this for example. <laughs> yeah, and so you, you can use uh, this grass uh, as you like. So, and um, this is uh, very simple, easy and, and quick to do. Uh, the, the rest of, of the settings uh, are via the, the hair render tag. Yeah? Um, this is a traditional, uh, now you can choose uh, the quality of uh, uh, analyzing and, and different uh, types of, of rendering, yeah, uh, this, this fast modes and uh, the small precise ray tracing modes and and so on. You can uh, choose if shadows are uh, interpreted or not, and yeah, it's typical uh, hair behavior. And uh, you can choose uh, if this grass stuff should be appear in, in reflections or not. So in most of the cases, you, know, you don't need it. So uh, yeah, and this is a tag. Uh, this auto automatically uh, appeared in, in the render settings uh, to handle special render things about the hair. So yeah, uh, another way to to give something hair, except this is, uh, for example, um, you can choose the hair material from this. Oh sorry, it's not hair material. The Grass material. So, and now I give this to, to the share, why not? <laughs> so, makes the share maybe a bit uh, more comfortable. So, clean this and not so wet, not so banded, and longer. And now we have this very, very comfortable little island. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> the, the share looks like a don't know, uh, like a like a like a hedgehog. <laughs> so I give him more density. Zack. So yes, and, and this is a new uh, hair. Very handy to to have uh, very fast uh, hair solutions in your 3D scenes. Uh, I hope uh, you find this uh, little uh, exploration. Useful? I don't know. Uh, this is uh, Mosa TV. Uh, my name is Mort and see you uh, on the next uh, 15 feature. Thank you.